Welcome to your Bridal Bar Burn Workout. This workout is a part of the Bridal Bar Bootcamp that gets you in wedding shape in 30 days. Receive this entire program in your inbox by signing up with the link below. Be sure to subscribe and hit that like button. And now let's get into the workout. We're gonna start standing, grab your booty band. We're gonna use this for our arms. So what you're gonna do is you're actually gonna hook it behind you. So you're just holding it like this and then the other one's in the thumb and you're gonna be pressing out like that, okay? So get that situated for yourself and I'm gonna keep time for us. We're gonna do 30 second intervals for these and we're gonna start right now. So this one's going at a diagonal here. So this is gonna really get into the shoulders and the lats. So I want you to focus on getting those muscles working here. I love using the band with the arms because it just gives that extra resistance, really good low impact resistance. And it really helps to engage all those little muscles there. So we're going at a diagonal, feeling that shoulder burn. Good, three, two, one. And then we're gonna go side. So just straight side, just like this. So elbow comes in expand to the side it definitely builds up the burn pretty fast here good reach side and side Whew. after this we're gonna go to the left side keep it going good switch sides right away and go up to the diagonal and in up and in so feel that elbow come in, reach and in, reach and in, good. Good, straight to the side. Let the elbow squeeze in back there. And as you do that, you're squeezing the shoulder blades together. So everything comes in and reach, squeeze it in and reach, good. It's gonna help your posture, help you stand up nice and tall in all of your activities. There's a lot that's going on. This will just help you stand up really nice and beautiful. Okay, now we're gonna hook this around our bottom foot and we're going to pull it up just like this in a nice little row and reach up and lower good pull that elbow up so here you're working the triceps the lats a little bit of the back muscles also your core so a lot of good core work even though we're using our arms Switch it out right away. Really think about squeezing those shoulder blades up together like that. Lifting up through the chest, almost having a slight arch in the back as the belly button comes in towards your spine. Good, stand it up and we're gonna take that same stance we had. And this time we're just gonna kind of take a, like a bow and arrow and reach, squeeze and reach. So a lot of really good posture moves here, really activating all those muscles in the upper back, the spine. Sometimes they just don't really work as we move through our day, right? We're just kind of hunched forward and stuff. So this is gonna really help to remind you to use all of those muscles. You have to go and drive me so crazy. Now I'm feeling lost without you, and I just can't be without you, baby. Want you all night long. Want you all night long. Want you Nice. Okay, we're gonna take the arms and we're gonna. Open them, press them back behind us as we take a little step back and then reach forward. Everything comes behind our head, lift the chest up 
and up. Good, I love this one because those back muscles really get worked a lot here. And you have to work your balance as the leg steps back. Good, squeeze through the abs. Look up, challenge your balance right here. Nice, and then bring those arms in front of you just like this. Pull it in and out, in and out. So you're pressing into the band, really pressing outwards like you're trying to break the band apart. Good, stretch those biceps, but you're gonna feel those outer, outer shoulders working. Go ahead, reach and in, reach and in. You're doing so good. Good, now take the right leg forward. We're gonna stretch it all out and then pull it in. Stretch, reach and pull in. I want you to look up towards the sky. Keep challenging that balance there and up. Good, reach and in, reach and in. You're still trying to break the band apart there, so you're feeling those outer shoulders. Good, and then just switch legs, same thing. And expand, reach up. I want you to really feel the sides of the waist stretching. this we're going to quickly move onto the floor good put the band right around those upper arm bones we're going straight into our forearm plank right here and we're just going to shift it forward and back forward and back good feel those shoulders working as you keep the band apart so the arms are like railroad tracks parallel to one another all right, take a little breather right here. So we're gonna move into some booty work now. So we're gonna take the band, we're gonna put it around our legs. So I'm gonna keep time for us, but this time we're gonna move the intervals up a notch to 50 seconds. You'll be okay, don't worry. So we're gonna do a little side squat here and then the other side, nice and easy working those legs and those outer glutes. Of course, the more intense your booty band is, the more intense the workout is going to be. So you can always play with your uh, levels there with the booty band. Good. Side and up, side. Okay, we're gonna go into a squat now. So just take those legs out nice and wide. We're gonna go into a nice little squat pulse right here. Here we go. So stay nice and low and you're gonna pulse it out. As you're pulsing out, I want you to press through the, the band right here. So this is gonna really help activate those outer glutes. Sometimes if you're like me and you get little sleepy glutes because the quads take over, this is always really good. That's why I love working with the booty band. because It just wakes all those little booty muscles up. Okay, keep going. After this, we're gonna lay down, which is always fun. So we'll get a nice good burn down there. Keep squatting. Let's come onto our side here, and we're just gonna take 90 degrees with the legs. And you're just gonna lift up and lower, just like that. Up and lower. So you might feel more comfortable up on your elbow like this, or maybe you just wanna lay all the way down, chill out. Sometimes it's nice to work out while you're laying down. <laughs> you're still doing something, right? But you're like also relaxing at the same time, so. I'm all about efficiency, getting two things done at once. Good. So just lift up, 
and lower, up and lower. Keep that core nice and tight. Hips are stacked right on top of each other. All right, now we're gonna just swing it forward and side. Swing forward and side. So I want you to really think about staying tight in the core. I think the first place to go is always here, but this is really gonna help keep the position of the hips correct. So just keep this nice and tight as you reach forward and reach side. Forward and side. Now we're gonna come into a nice little side plank clam here. So everything's gonna open up as you lift up, lower down. So it's gonna work your obliques as well as those outer hips. So lift and lower. Lift and lower, good. Lengthen out through the spine. So you wanna feel this nice long line happening from your hips to the top of your head. Good, and then gently come down. So no rushing, but just feel nice and light as you lower down. Good. Lift and slowly release. Okay, we're gonna put the band around the ankle here. And we are going to put it around the ankle and the arch of the right foot. And we're gonna kick the leg out as the other arm comes forward and in. Just kick out and in. So you gotta stabilize yourself here. Good, stay nice and solid here in the core. Feeling strong through the upper body. Good, keep those ribs in, keep pushing the floor away. If it's too much, you could always just place that left hand down to give you a little bit more support there. breather. Now we're going to just take the leg out at a diagonal there. We're going to come down onto our left elbow and just extend there at the corner. Okay, here we go. Reach and in, reach and in. I love this because you really are working on the in and the out. So you're resisting out and you're resisting in. Good, and we're getting deep into those lower glute muscles, hamstrings, and I want you to focus on your posture. So keep pressing the elbow and hand into the floor. Lift the chest up, beautiful. So we're gonna do all those again. We're gonna start with the squat here at the top. So stand on up and we're gonna step side together, side together. Whew. All right, our legs are definitely working a lot here. But you've got it. So after this, 
We have another little leg standing series and then some more abs. And so every time you come back to this video, I know you're gonna just feel stronger, more connected, more resilient. Every time you come back, let me know in the comments how your journey is going, what's happening in your life. I wanna hear all about your planning because I'm going through it too. So it'll be fun to just connect over that. Whew. Okay, coming into our squat and little pulse right here. Good. I don't know about you, but if you are planning something big, like I always get those crazy dreams where you like show up completely unprepared. So that has already started happening for me. I had a dream the other day where I was like, I showed up, I had like no makeup on, which is like my worst nightmare. I couldn't find like the girl, my friend to like do my hair and then like the hotel, we couldn't use the hotel or something. And it was just like a huge mess and like no one knew where the wedding was. And I was just like crying, <laughs> like, oh no. These dreams are already happening. I was like, but I am pretty close. Like right now while I'm filming this, we're like five weeks away. So it is, we're getting close. So the dreams are happening. So when I have that dream, I have to like remind myself like it's okay. Everything's gonna be okay. <laughs> um, so that's why for me, my meditations are so important because otherwise I can get so in my head and just like, literally drive myself crazy so meditations are really important and being on your mat that's like my workouts are so important I feel like it's a total reset for my brain I just feel like you know like this what was that movie like the endorphins just pump what was it I forget with Reese Witherspoon your endorphins are pumping and you just feel happy and like oh, I just feel so much better after a workout so let me know in the comments if you get those dreams too. Not even if you're doing a wedding, but like anything, I always get those dreams. I'm like, oh, they stress me out. So, okay, next one here, side and front. But it's always such a nice relief to wake up and be like, okay, go, that's not true. That's not happening. <laughs> Just gotta vent it all out, right? All the worst case scenarios. Good, swing side. And swing front, swing side, and front. Feeling that left glute working like crazy. Keep that core nice and tight right here. And definitely encourage your whole, all your friends to join in on this challenge with you, even if obviously they're not getting married right now. Or maybe some of them are. A lot of people are getting married right now. So encourage all of them to join with you. It'd be really fun, right? If you're, especially if you're doing like your bachelorette or something, you guys will join in together, which is super fun. Okay, doing our clams here. Up and lower, good, up. and put it around ankle and your foot. And then we're gonna extend the right leg up, or right arm up, and then pull it in and extend out. Good, in and out. So I want you to keep that arm straight out the whole time. It's gonna really challenge your balance, challenge your core. Good, keep reaching and then kick through that heel. Put that arm down 
but keep it up. Keep pressing through the left hand. Try to get out of the shoulder here instead of sinking, right? You push out of it. Pull the core up, good. Put the elbow down, here we go. We're gonna do a nice little diagonal here. I love that. And then when it comes in the knees, also slightly inverted in. So you're kicking out diagonal, kind of comes in and extend and in. Good. And then just look down, make sure that your hands underneath your shoulder, elbow underneath your shoulder. Lift that chest up. You can admire your ring. Nice little distraction from all the burn that's happening. Good, reach. We are gonna stand up now, and we're gonna do a little deadlift series. So we're gonna, it's gonna be really good for the, the legs and the balance. So you're gonna take the band underneath your foot like this, okay? And you're gonna loop it around your hand, so you're holding it like this. Now, here you're just gonna lift up and then tap down. So you're just hinging like a teeter-totter up and down, okay? So that's it. And we're gonna do it a few different combinations. I love this one because it just really, it stretches out the hamstring while also um, really, really strengthening it, right? So it stretches it here and it has to find its strength in its end range of motion. And that's how you get really stable, strong muscles, right? This is how you prevent injuries. This is how you, just really create longevity in the body. So we're just hinging up and lowering down. Make sure that you keep the hips really square here. So you're not opening the hip and you're not dropping it either. They should both be pretty level facing down to the ground. Good. You're just kind of using the band almost like a little anchor. All right, little break here. Now on this next one, we're gonna add a row. So we're gonna do the same thing, but this time we're going to row the arms and lower, okay? So hinge it forward, like you're in a warrior three. Pull in, lower, and then stand up. Good. So you're gonna get a pretty good burn in that standing leg. Now, if you're starting to feel it in your low back, you need to make sure that you're using your core and you can just lower the back leg a little bit. It doesn't have to be super high. It's more important to really get the positioning of the standing leg rather than trying to get height with the back leg. So we're gonna do one more like this, but this time we're going to lower and lift the leg here. We're gonna lower up and then we're gonna pull in and out. So let's hinge it forward. We're gonna hold, tap down, lift up, pull in and out. Tap, lift, yes. It's burning like crazy. Whew. Might need to take a break, that's okay. I do too. Tap down and up, pull in, and out, tap, and up, in, and out. Oh man, that's a hard position to hold. Sometimes I create these workouts like in my head and then I'm like doing it and I'm like, oh wow, <laughs> this is really hard. Tap, and up, pull in, and out. Oh man. Let's do one more, here we go. Okay. That's enough of that one, but well, we got it to the other side. Okay, so put it around the foot, 
and let's go. So I love this one too because that foot, all those little feet muscles get a lot of work. So hopefully you are barefoot like I am. So I always work out barefoot because you're gonna use all these teeny tiny little muscles. Like I love wearing the cute, chunky, thick sole shoes. Honestly, just for like fashion, but not to actually work out in because they really just like inhibit all the muscles from working. So especially if you're a girl who likes to wear a lot of heels, like you will feel so much more comfortable in your heels if you work out barefoot like this and really use all the muscles in your feet. Okay. So we've got the row. Whew. Okay, so keep that core tight. I tend to get that kind of little pinching in my low back. So it just reminds me to just use my core more right here. Good, add that row and lift. So the goal is to try to get the foot, the hip and the head all in one line. But obviously you can just work your way up to that. So when I pulled my hamstring, I definitely did a lot of these because it taught my muscle where, where it can go and how to feel safe when it's stretching like this. So this is really good for all that. Okay, a little break. Okay, now we've got the burner. Yeah, you can do it. We can do it because we're doing it together. All right, let's go. So we're gonna pull in and out, lower and lift. So I'm staying in the hinge position. I'm not coming out of it. Only if you need to take a little break, up and in and out and down, up, in, out and down, good. seconds stay in it you've got it six five four three two and one. Oh man okay let's come down to the floor now we're gonna finish off with some abs here you can move the band to the side and then we're gonna come all the way onto our backs let's just start with hands behind the head heels are down towards the floor and you're just going to kick the leg front and kick it side Good for eight, seven, Good. Now we're gonna take the leg, we're gonna tap the foot and hand together, reach it out at that diagonal, and then come back in just like that for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Now we're gonna reach it forward and side forward and side six five four three two and one good let's go to the other side so kick forward kick side at diagonal Two, one. Nice, we're gonna reach the arm and leg at a diagonal, come meet in the center, and reach for eight, seven, six,
Good, we're gonna reach forward and outside. Forward and outside, good, for six, five, four, three, two, one, good. Everything is gonna come in towards the center, tap the elbows to the knees, tap everything down, heels to the floor, open up. Here we go, for eight, seven, six, five, Nice, now we're gonna extend the legs out like this, back in, that's it for eight, seven, three, and two, and one. Nice, bring the legs all the way up. We're gonna go into a scissor kick here. We're gonna pulse it out, hold for two, and pulse for two, good, pulse, two, and pulse, two, keep going. If you wanna make it a little bit more challenging, you can take the hands behind the head. If you need a little more support, just hold on to that leg. For four, and three, and two, and one. Good, we're gonna hold one leg up, the other one's gonna come to meet it, and lower down for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, and two, and one. Good, switch it out. Here we go for eight, seven, Four. Good, place those feet back down. We're gonna pull in the knee in towards your chest. Take a nice little circle right here. And then you're gonna extend long overhead as the leg reaches. Good, for eight. Good, hold it here just for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Good, switch the legs, here we go, for eight. Woo. This is it, this is your last little bit right here, seven. You're doing so good, finish out strong with me. Good, five, four, three, and two. And one, crunch it up, hold it here for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good, reach long through the fingers, long through the toes. Just feeling so accomplished and so proud. Nice job, go ahead and roll on over. That was a lot in the core. And let's take a nice little baby cobra right here. Oh, just stretch it out, that feels so, so good. You've been doing amazing through this whole program. Make sure that you're checking in with me, tagging a sweaty selfie, coming into Downward Facing Dog. Tag a sweaty selfie so that you can slide into my DMs and I can repost you and share you. Make sure you're commenting. You're doing an amazing job on everything that you're doing. So don't ever forget that. Come all the way in. Good job. Awesome job, you made it all the way through. Now, if you're wanting to upgrade your experience and get the best results, then download my brand new Bar Definition app, available now in the App Store, where you can get your bonus finishers, recipes, and notifications to help keep you on track. Download it now, and I'll see you in the next workout. Bye.